All right, what's going on, everybody? Back here for the first race of the week at uh, Kokomo. Um, sorry for the late start, guys. It's like a pretty crappy week as far as content's coming out. Uh, we got Kokomo in the 410s, which I'm super excited about. Uh, 360s Bro, Patrick, at... you just hit oh, me before the gosh. fucking green. Well, <laughs> I guess we ah. better turn that off. Uh, we got the 360s at... <laughs> We got the 360s at Bristol's, uh, or Bristol, sorry. Uh, got the trucks at Darlington. Not too much going on. Uh, guys, I'm just going to kind of show you how I would race this track. Now, granted, I've only gotten minimum seat time in a 410 here. Um, a lot of good time in the 360. I felt really good there. By the way, we're starting 12th after we got wrecked in the heat race. Uh, we were out to about a two-second lead. So, not thrilled about that one, but here we are. So we should be up front competing, and uh, we had a car spin out and decide that he wanted to take me out. So just gonna have to watch me uh, maybe come through the field here. Uh, not a lot of guys are running the 410s this week here. A lot of them are running 360s at Bristol. Surprisingly, I don't understand why, cause I I don't even know that I'm gonna put a video out. That's how much I kind of dislike it. But uh, you know, I think Bristol's an awesome track. It is kind of fun in the 410s, but to do it in a 360 is, like, not how I want to spend my time. It's just, like, not, in my opinion, competitive, you know? Like, I don't even know how you would drive a 360 there. It has to be, like, one lane. You're not passing anybody. I mean, I might give it a shot and just see what it's like, but, you know, run the 410s at Kokomo. I'd rather run the fixed race and the open setup race. You know, I want to be competitive I want to get better here so you know like I said we should be starting in second place after having like a two second lead car spun out and like decided to come down while I'm trying to come down I'm like dude just just stop man you know so we're gonna have to start in the back here and uh, make our way up we're just gonna keep it right here Got a lot of testing to do. This is actually my first 410 race here, I think. So, you guys are going to watch me learn this. That wasn't a good turn right there, but... You guys know I'm not afraid to beat the hell out of the car. We're going to have some caution flags, just got to get used to it. But like I said, just trying to figure this place out. Going to see some accidents. Oh, I did run Kokomo last night, I totally forgot about it. I ran the fixed setup race and ended up winning. It was awesome, it was a great time. Uh, wasn't that many people though, so it was like, if you got in an accident, you're starting in like eight. So, yeah. Where did we start? 12th place? I, f I totally forget. Should be able to make our way up. Let me take a look at the names in front of us. Yeah, I don't see anything, you know, phenomenal. Not that these guys are bad drivers, obviously top split, but hopefully we can make our way around them. Four tens are different here, man. It's like you really got to understand throttle control and know what you're doing. So hopefully we can get some uh, green flag laps in here and I can uh, maybe show you how I would run it. Like I said, you're also seeing me basically debut here in a 410. So...
think being patient is going to be the hard part for me here. You know, we talk about I-55 and being patient, right? This is like a different kind of patience. It's such a difficult track to drive here. You really got to just know what you're doing, you know? I mean, it could take one corner and you can get around somebody, you know? Oh man, that's the other thing I hate, is caution flags. Come on, goodbye bro, it's alright. Don't get all mad at me. Spinning out on caution flaps. Up to 6th position. 11 laps down, like I said, being patient is what I've done. Track's really going to slick off here. I think that's the part that I'm a little nervous about is what's going to be that fast line at the uh, end of the race. Like, where am I going to run? You know, it's like a question for me at this point in time. So, we'll get to that part whenever it comes up. Is it going to be the top side or is it going to slick off so much that i got to run the bottom, you know? We're going to move the wing back. Currently I have the wing at Get ready. Going green. 2. So nothing too crazy. Green, green, green. Oh my gosh, we were getting a hell of a run off the corner there. People are going to be scared too, that's the other thing, you know. Not, not so much in the top split, but if you're like bottom to mid split, like people are going to be scared to run that top. You learn to run the top side, should be okay. Takes a lot of balls to run up there, but you know, you'll get the hang of it. Yeah, you know, just because it's slick up there doesn't mean it isn't the fastest part of the track still. I just want everybody to vote below what is your favorite turn here. Turns 1 and 2 or 3 and 4. I'd probably say 1 and 2 is my favorite. Hey, it's okay to hit the wall here. I know you're probably worried about your safety rating and stuff, but I can't relate to that. Oh, we almost got him. So we are top five bound. We have 12 laps to go. Can we make it a top three, possibly a podium in our first complete race in a open setup at Kokomo? We're going to find out here. Looks like the car... One car there, the Jacob Allen car, looks like it has a little bit of damage to it.
Move the wing back one more notch here. We'll give it a shot. See if it changed anything I like, but I still am a fan of the top side at this point. Feel comfortable up there. Here we go, going green. Aiming for that podium, I think it's realistic at this point. As long as we don't make any like major mistakes or get into an accident, we should be good to go. Alright, we made a mistake there. We're gonna have to take a second to get the car back to where we needed it to. Come on, bro. Can we get that green flag, bro? It's just so hard with the restart. I just, I really struggle with the restart. So, getting off of the corner there and building up my momentum, that's going to be the tough part for me. But other than that, man, we were catching them. Like, they were making mistakes, you know? We're going to be bouncing off the wall. It's just part of it. I think we actually have two pros in this lobby. We're beating one of them. Oh my, did he just run out of gas? The hell is that? Oh, we got the spot, baby. We're in third. Thank you for that caution flag. That's going to give us three to go, though. So we got to... He's running that bottom, which he's doing a hell of a job running. Shout out to him for that. Um, yeah, we're going to move up to third. I told you guys, like, patience, patience, patience. You're going to see that throughout this race. You know, especially those mid and bottom splits. A lot of people are going to make mistakes. Top split. You know, I just watched one of the best do it, so... Actually, we might have three pros in here, to be honest with you. So 
So yeah, we're competing with the best, you know, like we gotta run hard against them, you know. One left to green. Can we hold off the podium? We're gonna find out here in a minute. Coming down to the final laps at Kokomo and basically our debut race. Here we go, coming down to the very end here, we're gonna run this middle line. Shit, I couldn't get the car to turn. We got a fourth, third position, so we made the podium there at the end. Let's go back and watch it right here, guys. Let's go back and watch this right here. You literally stopped right after the checker. I don't know what you want me to do. I mean, we did get the next off of it, so it don't matter, I guess. Okay, we don't want to hear this. Here we go, lap 29 right here, guys. Lap 29, so this is the last lap. Look at this, three-way battle. What? I apologize for being a dick. Ah, oh, that's how we got it right there. All right, guys, that was awesome. We'll catch you guys next time, okay?